Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to basically be another Disney haul. This time it's going to be focusing on the wands. If you saw my last unboxing video, you may have got a sneak peek of some of the wands already. I yeah, filmed this in my classroom. I purposely put the Disney princesses behind me just because that's my aesthetic. I found this aerial bubble wand at a thrift store. It was like $1.50. So I was like, I'm definitely getting that. Why not? It didn't come with the attachment at the bottom. I tried several different bubbles from the dollar store to try and screw on and see if that would work. It didn't. And luckily I went to the the Disney store and they now sell these three dollars but they're the exact size of the ball that goes on the bottom of these. I tried it, I screwed it on and the bottom broke. <laughs> With this one it's been a journey but we still try nevertheless. It doesn't screw in because there's a little bit of plastic that broke off because you know I have no patience basically. When you turn it on as this one was pre-owned, it does take a hot minute to actively start blowing bubbles. It does light up at the back and it does play a lot of under the sea, but in a very staticky way. So now I'm going to show you the new bubble ones that I got today. I'm really excited about these. I'm going to start with the aerial one because you've already seen it. So why build it up even more? You already know what it is. <laughs> Just to give you a comparison, that was the blue ball that I got from the Disney store as a replacement. The actual one's supposed to be this really cool diamond at the bottom of it. I really like this one. The detail of it is really cool. Now I'll unwrap it so you can actually see one that actually works. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna use scissors because that might help with the whole getting everything unwrapped quicker. <laughs> I just busted my hip getting that. Okay, so this makes a lot more sense as to why the other one didn't work. So just as a comparison, this is the bottom of the one I got from the thrift store. This is the bottom of the one that I just got from the Disney store. I'm assuming a lot more broke off than I actually thought. So no wonder this one didn't actually blow bubbles. But, you know, it's a nice little knickknack to have. <laughs> now I have sisters. <laughs> With these, what's really cool is the fact that they already come with batteries and they have this little slip where you have to pull it out before it actually activates. So it's not like you go to a store and someone's already drained the battery, which is quite nice. Let's just try it with the sound on so you can see if this one's clearer. This one lights up a little bit better. So I'm glad that I got this. Let's see the bubbles. I'm really excited to see one of these that actually seems to work. I think that's in. So let's see. I feel like this one just takes a hot minute to get any bubbles out of it. There are two settings as well. Just as a warning, if you're a parent and you want your child to have one of these, there is a bubble setting with sound and there's a sound setting. So either way, you're going to hear this noise. So just bear that in mind if you have kids. If you don't like noise, I wouldn't recommend. It's blowing bubbles. They're relatively small, but at least it's doing it. It's also leaking slightly, so I don't know if I even put it on right, but that's the aerial one. Next up we have the Buzz Lightyear wand. Yesterday myself and my wife went to the Disney store exclusively to get this. Luckily it was an outlet so we got a lot of Disneyland stuff for really cheap. This one was $23. It wasn't $12 like the other ones when they were on sale. It's green, you can't see through it. It's definitely a nice design. I like how he's like steering his ship as well. <laughs> Let's take it out. I don't know if this one... Oh. See, this one's nicer because it's already attached. The other one, you had to screw something off the top. It lights up. I don't think it makes any sound, but it definitely looks cool, especially the back, how it looks like there's fire coming out of it. Let me just undo this bit. With this one, rather than coming out from the top, it comes out of the side behind there. Bear that in mind not to like, hold it like that, otherwise you're going to get a bunch of bubbles in your face. But yeah, I'm like, why is it not? Oh, I'm so stupid. It does actually have sound. With this one, it has a button on the back where you push it for the sound, so it's not like the aerial one where it's just constantly singing repeatedly however long you have it on. I actually prefer this one. Just because it's less irritating, it doesn't give me a migraine as badly as the other one. Let me check that. They're actually in there. <laughs> I'm so stupid. It's not actually undone. <laughs> I'm waiting for ages just being like, yo, where are these bubbles at? And it's because it's not actually opened. So remember to open your bubbles for all of them. Don't be dumb like me. This one feels a lot more stable than the aerial one. The aerial one felt like it was leaking and like it wasn't actually fully on. I'm thinking that I was supposed to move this off. Oh, I was. <laughs> Make sure you take that green thing off of this. As you can tell, this is going really well. Um, I'm definitely very skilled at this. That's why this one was leaking and wasn't really working that well. To look around a little bit, it doesn't just instantly start. Let's see this one if it actually has the bubbles coming out. It's a nice fan though. It's a hot day, I'm sweaty. Whenever I film, I get really sweaty because I get nervous. It is quite nice as a fan, just bear in mind the bubbles are gonna eventually come out. <laughs> With this one, it comes out of the bag, which I actually find quite cool. If I was younger, I'd just do this all the time. <laughs> I feel like it's the best thing. I really like this Bud Lightyear one. Yeah, this one is so much better. Let me see, actually. I'm just gonna test the aerial one out again now that I know how to install it. So that instantly feels a lot less. Before, whenever I was holding it, it was shaking and I was like, my, <laughs> this is too much. I'm gonna drop this and I don't wanna shout another one. I've already broken one. Let's see. 
See, like I said, the sound comes on regardless. I don't think there's a button against that. It's either music and bubbles or music. Oh my gosh, that, that's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> wow. Yeah, I highly recommend this one now. This is phenomenal. This is why these things come with instructions. I didn't read any of them, but mate, make sure you do. <laughs> that was so much better than the underwhelming first performance when I didn't put it on properly. <laughs> I'm so stupid. <laughs> Everything's covered in bubbles at this point. At the end, I'm gonna put them all on at once because I'm that extra. This one is the Stitch one. I love Stitch, he reminds me of the dog waffles. I have no idea why. <laughs> I think it's because we adopted him and Stitch was adopted by Lilo. It makes me happy. Hey, so, <laughs> yeah, we've opened it. As a reminder, take these things off the bottom, otherwise they won't work. Don't forget to take the little white thing out so it actually makes a sound as well. Does this one even make any noise? I don't think so. It lights up, which is cool. I like that like ombre effect. <laughs> He's like actually going through space and he has a little light on his face. Okay, so let's open these bubbles. You don't need to open it all the way. Just make sure you have a hole in it where the tube can go through. That's basically all you need. This one's orange. It's not as artistic as the aerial one. I don't know why, for whatever reason, the aerial one has a lot more detail on the ball. Cool, low battery alert. Sorry, I just had a low battery alert. This is what happens when you just chat mad crap for ages. Now I'm gonna put the bubbles on as well. This one also comes out of the back, so don't do what I did with the Buzz Lightyear one. <laughs> it just ends up like spitting it in your face. <laughs> I did it again. <laughs> I like how I like how it wiggles. Out of the back, similar to what you can do with Buzz Lightyear. You can literally pretend that they're chasing each other. If you want like a bubble fight or something, I don't know. I don't judge. It's really, really fun to just be like, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> I'm really hoping the cleaners aren't in today because they're probably like, what is that random British guy doing in that classroom? He doesn't even work here. And now we're on Lightning McQueen. <laughs> you telling me this whole time they had a little tab that you could just pull and it would get the plastic off instead of having to use scissors. Mate, I swear, I'm not with it today. This is the Lightning McQueen one. ka -chow! It's really cool. It has like the Rusties thing on it, the 95. I don't know if that's the year he was born or whatever. This one has a red bottom to it. So let's have a little look. That's the lights. That's quite cool. Look at Lightning McQueen! What is it with all these bubbles coming out of the back? I swear, you're just gonna end up hitting yourself in the face. If I was a kid and I had one of these, I'd be like, yeah! And it would just literally get you in the face like it has every other one. Oh, look, it's coming now. I have no regrets. I thought when I brought these, there is no way I'm ever gonna use these. And now I'm like, I'm gonna use these. <laughs> this is so much fun. I would happily just go for a walk with one of these. I don't even care. Other people can judge me, I don't care. As you can see, it takes a while for the bubbles to go through, but once they come through, it goes everywhere. If you have kids and you get them one of these, don't have it inside because you will have bubbles everywhere. My whole desk is drenched, you know, at least it's clean. <laughs> and last but not least, this is my favorite one. This is the one I saw with no hesitation and I was like, mate, I'm getting it. It's Chip. Off to the cupboard with you now, Chip. I know we've been through this many a time before, but make sure to take the bottom off first before you actively unscrew anything because nine times out of 10, there's something actually stopping the bubbles from coming out, which, you know, is good. But don't be like me. Our oh, chip's got a yellow bottom. <laughs> Take it out. Oh, I like that. The way how it colors up. I, I knew my chip wouldn't disappoint me. This one doesn't have sound, which I'm a little disappointed at. I would have loved it if he was like, mama, mama. Maybe not though. Where does the, where does the bubbles even, oh. Okay, this is cool. The bubbles actually come out of the top and he's already bubbling. For the ones that are pointed up, the bubbles come out a lot quicker. If you do like to just wave them around, these ones are slightly easier. And so we'll just wait for it. I see some bubbles. I'm scared it's gonna <laughs> shoot me in the face. I smell it, so it's definitely coming. I'll say, okay, this one's definitely not as good as the other ones, just purely because it's trying to do one massive bubble instead of blowing them. <laughs> Maybe that's what you're supposed to do with this one. It just creates really big ones and then you blow it and they become smaller ones. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, the bubbles on this one are a little bit disappointing because it's just, I don't know what this is doing, but it's not blowing them in the same way as the others. <laughs> but maybe I just got a dud, I don't know. <laughs> I do love the design of this. I just don't like the bubble cluster that's coming on the top because it's really stressing me out. <laughs> but it, there you go. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Last thing, cause you know I'm extra. I had to put all of the bubble ones on at the same time to see how many bubbles they make because that's the type of person I am. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so many bubbles. I'm not gonna lie, I feel very overwhelmed right now. <laughs> Look, this one is fun. What, what are you doing, Chip? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this is actually so much fun. I feel like I'm under the sea, ironically, because that's all I can hear. 
I, I highly recommend all of these bubble ones. This is actually so much fun. <laughs> Chip one is slightly alarming. I'm hoping I got a dud and the actual one isn't like this. Everything is absolutely drenched in bubbles and stinks. Bear that in mind that this does go everywhere. As you can see, poor... S oh my gosh, hopefully that fixed it. <laughs> They're all slightly wet from all the bubbles. If you are a Disney fanatic like myself, I would highly recommend keeping an eye on the Disney store and just seeing the random flash sales that they have. I end up saving so much money through doing that. Really do make sure that you keep an eye on it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had so much fun unboxing these and unwrapping these and just the pure chaos of this video. I hope it brought you as much joy as it brought me. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. If you have any ideas of anything you'd like to see in any future videos by myself, please feel free to put them in the comments below. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.